Yes, M. D. Friends, we will uh, uh, continue our conversation. As I was talking about this one, that uh, what is the difference um, that Jamaat have so far made on this world after the claim of Mirza Saab? We don't see any significant change or any significant message to the world. Most of his writings, most of his messages, if you will see, the Mirza Saab has talked about himself. He been uh, like emphasizing on his own personality that the people should accept him as a prophet, as a promised messiah, as a Imam Mahdi, whatever was uh, his claims. But he did not give uh, any solution to the world's problem. But if you look into when the Islam uh, was introduced, the Islam gave a message to the mankind and how miserable lives were of the human beings and Islam gave the solutions, Islam showed them a light that how you can survive and how you can live with the respectful life and what the rules should be, what the laws should be that been given. Now, oh, the question comes that uh, when the laws have been completed, when the deen has been completed, when there will be no more laws, this Mirza Sahib even admits. So he is the one who have to like interpret, who have to explain Quran, who have to uh, remind the Muslims their message that look this is the book you have received through Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him but you have forgotten and I came back and I want to uh, remind you that uh, this was the message and you should do the thing is he never created any kind of a society if you think that the Jamaat Ahmadiyya or Jamaat the, uh, the community of Ahmadiyya is a society which he created if you look into your uh, uh, own system, as I said in my earlier uh, c c conversation, in my earlier tape either, that uh, he have created a such fear that uh, he did not introduce a, a such a system where they will feel a freedom of speech, where they will feel that we have a respect there where they will feel that yes if something is going on there is a system and we can go very openly over there and we can express ourselves no he have created uh, a fear and they, they rather the members been tortured emotionally physically they've been tortured there have been a violence there have been a killing but there is no system. There is no system that where somebody could go and raise their voice and say, look, this has happened to me. Look, this is my problem. No. First of all, they say that whatever you have to say, you keep it in mind that your any action, your any word, your any statement is not going to offend the Khalifa. Your statement, your expressions not going to uh, m angry the Khalifa. No, you are looking uh, uh, towards that uh, one person that you need his satisfaction, you need that he should be uh, remain happy. You're, you are not expressing your problems, you are, you are not telling your pain, you are not allowed to tell that one. The system allows that don't care what the judge have to think, what the judge is going to feel, who is sitting on the chair of the justice. They say, express yourself, tell your pain, tell your problem, so that they should see that what the circumstances you have faced, who, how you've been persecuted, how you are been victimized, then they give the verdict. But here in your system, you are always looking towards your parents, towards your family, towards your siblings, towards your Khalifa, towards the Odedars, towards the missionaries and the Murabis, that if I will say, if I will express myself, if I will tell my problems, are they going to be happy or angry? Oh, if they will become angry, oh, that I, 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 I have done some sit, I committed some sin. I mean, 
is that the system? India Youth, I want you to take the uh, leadership in your hand. Believe me, the young MDs have a lot of respect. I, I do a lot of respect uh, for the young MDs and so much expectations, believe me, that you are in a such free society. I think, uh, in my opinion, that uh, coming out of Pakistan with the massive uh, uh, migration uh, after the 74, you people are in a better position to take and now you are living in a such society where you have understood that what are the meanings of the freedom what, what is the freedom you are quite capable to take the leadership in your hand and this is the deception that oh Allah appoints uh, a Khalifa no for God's sake study that one read the Quran study the Quran you will find out this is not the case what this family have uh, been imposing on you for so long for hundred years no not at all Allah does not appoint these kind of Khalifas that thing has been over now you have to choose your own leader among you and you the MD youth quite capable to take over the leadership in your hand and you can create a better difference and you can bring your those brothers you can go back to your original a uh, one nation of Muslim Ummah you can fill the gap and you guys can create and bring the debate on table with the dialogue you can understand and you can eliminate the difference between the Muslims and the MDA community the only way that you should sit on the table force your elders or take the leadership in your hand and go back on the table with the Muslims sit down over there and eliminate and finish your differences and come to one point because there is a one common thing which is the most important that Muslims and Ahmadis you both believe in Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and Quran now the thing is when both parties believe on these two things then what is the difference the difference is the person Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Khadian now why you cannot have a debate why you have closed your doors you see whenever you see now look at your you do not allow any Muslims to come you do not go to the Muslims they have not closed the doors I know you are going to say one thing that look they uh, in Pakistan uh, the MDs have been declared a non-Muslim well, I understand this one believe me I'm in a process and maybe in my next video I'll give you this a uh, good news I am in a process I'm trying my best and I am up to 90 percent I am a successful that I'm trying to get the proceedings of the 1974th Parliament Assembly's proceeding I am quite close to get those the uh, copy of that proceedings of what happened in 74 which uh, the assembly have declared uh, the Ahmadis non-Muslim I uh, very soon the copy will be in my hands and then as the Ahmadis have made a claim that Mirza Tahar Ahmad uh, made a claim that if that the proceeding will be published if that will come to the public then half the Pakistan will be Ahmadi believe me I tell you I assure you as soon as I get that one which is I'm very close to that one and very soon I'll get the copy I will make an offer to the MD Jamaat here is the certified copy of the Parliament of Pakistan and the proceedings of the 1974th of Parliament come forward now Jamaat MDA come forward and print it I will give them I'll give them for the print and Jamaat would have because this is Jamaat's uh, claim that if the proceedings will be published then the half of the Pakistan will be Amity but one thing before going let me tell you this is the wrong claim half a Pakistan put aside that proceeding did not convert a one member a one clerk a one PN of the parliament MDs not a one even member how you can say that but anyway our conversation will be keep on this my passive will be keep on going I'll talk in my next one thank you